Hey, hello, uh, and welcome to this video, guys. Uh, today we're gonna learn about I eighteen. If you don't already know what is I eighteen, I eighteen basically helps you to make a multilingual application, uh, an application which basically helps you to uh, use multiple local languages of your country in your particular application. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually see how this works, and we're gonna see how you can implement this in your particular React application. Uh, so let's get started. It's quite easy. It's not very complex. So just be with me on this. First things first, what you have to do is you have to open item. No, you don't have to open item. Open any terminal of your choice. Okay. So I'll go to my, uh, you know, project <laughs> garage where I just learn everything. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new project. I'll name it Yan. Uh, I'll, I'll create it using read. Yan create read. And uh, I'll just name this. What what should I name this? Multi lang or something like uh, lang lang pro. I don't know. That's kind of weird name, right? So I'll be setting up with TypeScript, right? TypeScript uh, with SWC. If you don't already know what SWC is, SWC stands for Speedy Web Compiler, and this basically helps you to compile everything way faster, right? The next thing what I'll, what I'll do is just for just just for me like this is not at all a compulsory okay first of all let's actually see how you can go for this so let's get go to get started and then the first thing what you have to do is you have to install these packages right so let's take t these two packages and install this in our application so we'll say yarn add like this react i18 next and i18 react i18 next so these two things you have to install in your particular application Next thing uh, is very, pretty simple. So basically, you have to create an i18 uh, instance, and uh, right, and we have to pass i18 next uh, as like a to this i18 n, and then initialize this, and then we can give our translations to various languages in which you want to basically, you know, get your app translated. Well, right now we'll be translating to a lot of native Indian language, uh, but later on you can just go to French, German. English, whatever you wish, it's up to you. Uh, I'll be giving you a pro tip as well. So, yeah. So yeah, there you go. So we have our application up and running over here. We'll zoom in a little bit so that you know we can, we can have a look. Uh, in the SRC directory, you can see a lot of files, right? So the first thing what you have to do is you have to go to the app.js and just get rid of a lot of things, right? So. Uh, okay. Kind of sad. Uh, okay. So uh, we have uh, deleted all, everything, and now I have just uh, given a. Let's actually get rid of a lot of things, a lot, a lot, a lot of these things. Now we have a clean React template. So we have nothing. We have just have app or div add a return statement which returns this particular div so now what what i would suggest is you can create a util file and you create this full file inside that or directly create this file and just say multi lang dots you can name it anything i have named it that uh it's your wish right multi so you can name this anything which you wish i have named this 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 is my preference your application your wish okay the first thing what what i'll do is basically uh, import some things from i18 next and i18 so i'll call it i18 and then uh import okay so i'll say i i think it's totally i18 next okay i18 and yeah and then i what i can do is i can say i18 uh and okay, let's see how do how do they do it so okay so uh it is directly like done like this so you can say i18 and from this and then you know i18 uh, n dot dot in it but before in it actually we have to use uh you know the neck uh the react thing so use uh i uh i18 React uh, init React ID. Yeah. And then over here, how the structure works is I'll just show you. Hold on. So, uh, how the structure works is basically uh, hold on, just, just a second. Yeah. 
so basically uh, you first of all we passed i18 down you know i18 next to i18n uh, which is required if, if you want your react components to auto automatically be updated and so on all those cool features with a react application if you want all those to be to be there you have to use this and then it just is it's very simple you know then you have resources where you have the translations where you have language where like which is like the current language you want to use and then it is interpolation which is uh, i don't know but yeah okay let's quickly uh, get started and let's ha let's have uh, some um, some things okay. so after this let's uh, let's actually have some resources uh, yes, watch, yes. and we'll call it english right in the english you can provide any any uh, you know translations it translation not translations and then i can i can give any translation so i can show a welcome message and say uh welcome to my app right that's english translation of english and then you can provide in hindi translation hi right again translation uh remember one thing which is this should be same the key should be same otherwise you know your translation will not happen properly what is hindi of that i don't know wait uh here's the pro trip tip trip which i what i was talking about if you have a github copilot subscription just install this this will uh, ease out a lot of things uh, which you do because this will give you the translations automatically right uh, you know you don't have to work a lot for that so it's kind of really cool so sign in to github hold on i have to i have to sign in for that i need my personal account sign in to github allow open vs code open now we are up to there yeah so Good. So now we, I think, uh, GitHub Copilot is uh, enabled globally. So now we can. Now it is easy for us. So we can say. Uh, see, it just gave you a Hindi uh, Hindi translation, right? And then you can go for as many translations as as possible. So, for example, if I want want to go for German translation, uh, yeah, French translation, go for French translation. there you go so you can have as many translations as many languages as you wish and as many things as you wish so let's say welcome and then uh, subtitle and then you can say uh, this app is really good and i love this app let's say you have this and then comma yeah using it with github copilot is like really really amazing you can see so we have actually written all the all the all the different translations in english hindi and french i guess right now what you have to do is uh, you know you have to set the current language so lng let's say english i want to like have the current language in english and i would also let you know how you can switch languages in while, while like while using the app right so i'll just show you that as well first let me show you how to use this right wait happen okay so what i would want what uh, like now next thing what you have to do is you have to say use translation and after this there's something called t you'll be getting some a thing called t right t will help you to translate anything so let's say if you want to have a like a like a header with t welcome right there you go so now uh it will show the translations uh let's let's actually run this application so let's say yarn dev in order to see how does it behave you can see welcome over here right? so this is welcome and let's actually have a subtitle as well so which is an h5 uh, t uh, what was that i just forgot it was a subtitle right oh if you if you provide the wrong uh
okay so as you can see this is not working this is clearly showing whatever we are passing over here so now to make this work what we forget is basically we have to we have to import this in our index dot main dot tss or index or server wherever is the root of your application so you have to import this over here so let's say import uh uh multi lang dot ts and now this will this will do the translations yeah cool so now we have the translations working and you can see you know all these things are getting translated to its respective languages now let's say you want to switch this in like while using the app how will you do that so let's actually do that so what i'll do is i'll just have button uh english and and um uh, say uh Right, I want to have Hindi and then I want to have uh, French. Right. So there you go. I have a Hindi, English and a French button. And when I click these button, I want to change. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. When I click these button, I want the language to be changed to that particular respective language. So what I can do is I can just uh, have like a fast change language. No, I can just there's a there's a thing called i18 inside this i18 n right so you'll get an i18 n out of this and now you can use that in order to change all the languages so you can say on click what i what do i want to do is i want to i i18 dot change language to english same thing goes with this on click Hindi and then French. So let's actually have some uh, space. Yeah, there you go. So now uh, all these uh, you know changes the respective language to that particular language. So if I do Hindi now, everything is in Hindi. That language is Hindi, and now this is French. Right? So you can say French, Hindi, English, and that's so easy, right? That's how you can basically make a multilingual application using IIT Next. Uh, there is a lot more to do in this particular section. Not with this, there's with translation and all. This is a basics guide. I'll be creating an, another video with an advanced guide to IIT Next, where we'll be learning how we can automate this process of translation generation. Also a lot of different things. So I hope so you learned something out of this video. And thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye, have a great day.